Welcome to the Grim Dawn Diaries featuring the cab list, which I will finally call something. It will be the Commander of Darkness. Yeah, I stole it from Path of Exile. Because <laughs> I like playing Witch and Minion builds. So, yeah, I, 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 I am done with everything. As you can see, I have 20k HP, 2.6k DA, cap press, and yeah, also pets have pretty good health. Okay, damage, it's, it's a good damage. And then the resistances are pretty good. Just the bleed rest though for Kuba is very bad. And also, it's looking very, very, very fine. Look at that purple looking set. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off. Kill Theoden Marcel. And yeah, that this is just it. Let's just shock them through. Let's see how fast he dies. Pretty fast. That's with having 20k HP, a tree of life, an ish tag. So that's pretty good. Also, I did I got one point in man flesh so that I can have more tankiness and everything. So uh, I think I have a lot of healing. I got tree of life, I got a lot of trade, I got ish tag for additional DA for the pets, DA and the OA, and then there's man flesh. And what else? Yeah, I got a lot of protection. Because I do also have turtle. And then I also have Mark of Divinity. So my goodness. If I die, it's gonna be such a careless death. This Mark of Divinity, that's 3% of invulnerability. And then I think it works really well with Turtle because if it, they proc at the same time, then the Mark of Divinity goes first and then the turtle only disappears when I when I get when I lose a mark divinity, which is I think how it works. Yeah. Or is that other thing? Also, the thing that's really kind of. <laughs> Annoying with pets is that most of the time you don't know what's going on. Also, this is on low graphics. I can't imagine playing it on high graphics. It would look so much messier, probably. And maybe even more stupid with a screen shape. Die. Effortlessly die. Also, in addition, I do get the heal from Men Flush, which is much better in the recent patch because pets tend to cast skills more often, and then the energy problems from the Raven, from the Familiar, is no longer existent because they bump the energy regen, lessen the energy cost, so it's gonna cast it all the time. It's also very reliable on the Summoner, but not as reliable for other pets. I don't know, so we gotta test it out. Look at that! Oh my goodness! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck even? Oh my goodness, it's going really good. And none of them are even dying. This is gonna go really fast. Die! With all the pops. Damn. 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 Wow. I'm now, I'm now, I am now a bit less sad that the Blood Mage died. Because it made me play this build. This is the Cavalist I made earlier. Like earlier, like in the last past month or past weeks. 
And I just decided to continue it and gear it up. And yeah, this is the Commander of Darkness. <laughs> Pretty cool. Ten skeletons, two ravens. Two ravens. And also, because of the double ra double familiar, that's why I decided to get Man of Flesh. Because it's literally two heal bots. And also... Also, the loading time is so long. Also, I do have plus three to Men Flesh, so I only have one point in Men Flesh, and that gives me a six percent heal, which is pretty nice. <clears throat> What's this? Mm, another nonsense. More nonsense. Uh, mythical. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I have, I have, I have it already, but it's a nice ring. It's good for vitality builds. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Ten skeletons, two ravens, one hound, one revenant, and a lot of HP and a very decent DA. And also, yeah, I forgot to mention, I both use the Fiend Flesh, Greaves, and Mantle, so that's 10k damage absorption, another 10k from the boots. Pretty nice. The stats are average. 97%, I think that's pretty good. It's not super good, but it's decent. The damage is okay. The reason I said it's okay because I'm not I'm 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 at 1k without conversions, without any bonuses. And the life is pretty decent. That is 176 176% life with only one point in buns of Bismil. One point. And it, it has seven bonus points. Also cap skeletons, nearly capped will the crypt. Undead Legion is at 16 because I can get it to 18 and I'm going to be missing two more points to get an additional skeleton which I can get if I change the pants but I like the Wild Turn Legards. I mean it, it has good damage but mainly because it has a lot of HP and a lot of DA and uh, retaliation is just it's just a bonus. This is very good. This build, blah, 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 this build feels very good. I'll go ahead and make a build guide for this, and also for the blood mage, I'm, <clears throat> I will, I will revive it so that I can test how, I mean, I can make a video of it doing crucible and just to expose how far it can go, and then also I'm going to make a build guide for that, but it wasn't really that super amazing. Yeah, and I'm just gonna kill it again. I really just want. I just wasn't able to make a video for Crucible and a guide for it. That's why I'm reviving it. Hopefully, this doesn't die. I'm really hoping that this will be my what my Lokar farmer because I really want to get sets and give away sets if ever there are people who actually want it. But yeah, I'm forgetting it. Also, I fought Kuba. Which I, will, I will talk about it later when, when I fight it again. Yeah. Bye bye! <laughs>